how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. As you come in, please say hello. Let me know you were there. Um, if you're watching this on a replay down below, can you just put, uh, please just type in replay so that I know that you watched it. Um, let me just make sure I am live on the right page and it seems like I am. Hold on a second. Let me see. All right. Um, my name is Christy Colombo and I am uh, with Chaka Tour. I am an independent designer and uh, tonight I am going to be making a uh, vintage laurel wreath. It's and I'm going to be making uh, the the bigger one and then right smack in the middle I'm going to put this C. So we have the whole alphabet so you can design you can put your initial on there and it's pretty awesome and I'm going to be using this uh, canvas. Okay, I really like it. It's really, really nice. So let me show you what I've got going on down here. All right. Oops. Okay, guys, hold on a second, guys. I need to just, there we go. All right. So this is the, the big guy that I'm working with, okay? So let me just. Uh, get my oh I got it I don't need my scissors let me just take this out of here I got this guy I hadn't seen him uh, like this before but I found this one at Hobby Lobby and I think it's pretty awesome all right so this guy's pretty big now I can do my wreath like this or it's actually big enough or where I can do it like this, but I just feel like um, going in this direction will be better, okay? So when I take it off this transfer, I'm going to need to fuzz it. We do have these fuzz, fuzzing cloths, excuse me, um, or you can just use a regular towel and you can tell that I, I've used, used this quite a bit and I've even got it stained, but it's okay, that's what it's for. So. The reason I need to um, uh, fuzz this is because, come on in, what's up? Sorry, my daughter's here with me. What's going on? Nothing. You're gonna go get ice cream? Yeah. Okay. Guys, my daughter's gonna go get ice cream. Say hello. Did you see right there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, be careful. You got money? Yeah. All right, love you. Love you. All right. Okay, that's my little, that's my youngest one. Um, all right, guys. So the reason, let me backtrack because I don't remember where I left off. The reason um, we want to fuzz is because our transfers are nice and sticky in the back. You see? And if we don't fuzz, this transfer can stick really well to my surface, whether it be glass, tin, on this canvas. And if I don't fuzz it, I can ruin my uh, my transfer. And I don't wanna ruin it. What can happen is um, the transfer can stick to my, um, to my surface and some of this green may come off and may get stuck on my surface and I don't want that to happen. So what I need to do is I need to fuzz. So that is what I'm doing right now. Okay, and I need to do that several times because it's a big transfer and it's a brand new transfer and that's what makes a huge difference, okay? All right, so let me turn this around and start fuzzing the other side. And now these, this fuzzing cloth that I'm using right here, this green one, it is a Chalk Couture fuzzing cloth. And you can see all this fuzziness over here and then this side is nice and smooth. So this is the side that I'm using. Okay. I opted to use the colors uh, green, sand, and a copper, a shimmer copper for the, uh, the monogram. So let's see how it works out. I'm not claiming it's gonna work out. It's just what I think is going to look good. At least I hope it does. All right, guys, so let's get that straight. 
Um, I think this is good. I think I'm looking pretty good over there on the top. And I think I'm good. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick this up because where I have silk screen, there's some fuzz and it is going to interfere with the design. So I need to take it off. And there's another one right here. All right, and so now what you wanna do is you wanna get a squeegee. I have a bigger one, but if you have a smaller one, you can go ahead and do that and just run it over your design, okay? Just run it over your design and um, help it attach to your surface. If you do not do that, um, what is going to happen is, or what can possibly happen is paste will go underneath uh, your design. And you only, of course, want paste where the design is supposed to be, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is, all right, I think I'm good. So this is the only wreath I'm going to use, and I'm going to use the green, and then I'm going to use um, sand on these uh, dots right here, and I'm going to do that with our multi-purpose tool. So let me make sure that my paste is a yogurt-like consistency. If it isn't, Go ahead and just uh, squirt some um, water in it and, and then stir it up, okay? You don't want it dry, but you don't want it runny. You want it a yogurt-like consistency, okay? Let me do that, and then let me open up the tan. And same, I'm going to stir. Okay, you'll notice that I am away uh, from my uh, transfer and my surface, and that's because um, sometimes when you put water in here and you stir, if you're not careful, it'll splash up and you don't want it to get where it's not supposed to be. All right, so there we go. And then for my, um, my bow, I'm thinking I'm still gonna do green. I, I really do. So I'm going to stick with green, okay? I am going to come over here and I am going to do the green everywhere except on my dots, okay? And let me get me a towel right here and just put it right here so I can rest my, um, my tools as I'm using them. All right, guys, are we ready? I think you can see it all right here. Okay, here we go. So remember, I want to just make sure that I get it in the areas that I want it. And I need to go a little bit faster. The reason being is that um, the paste cannot dry on your transfer and the transfer cannot dry on your surface. Um, if it does, you will risk it pulling up what you have placed on your surface. So your design will pull up, okay? And that's one thing that you don't want to happen. So you wanna to try to move a little fast. Um, if you feel that you're just kind of running out of time, go ahead and just, um, let me give you a tip here in a minute. As soon as I finish this, I'll show you what, what I'm gonna be talking about. So if you don't feel that you're gonna be moving fast enough, you can always just do half of your design 
and I'm talking about this design, and then pick up the transfer and, um, and then let it dry. And I'll show you here what I mean. Let me just finish um, applying. So you're gonna apply and then you're gonna pick up the excess and put it back into your jar, okay? You don't wanna waste any of your paste. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and work with my brown, with my tan and I'm gonna use my my small tool here so that I can get into these areas. Alrighty. Sometimes it's, I gotta admit, sometimes it's a little nerve wracking guys, even for me. Um, this process. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it's not a little um, a little nerve wracking because it is. I'd be lying to you if I, if I told you it wasn't. And then sometimes your designs, they work out really well and sometimes they don't. And you know, that's just the truth. I want to be honest with you and it's just the truth. Alright guys, so this is what you do is you just lift it up Okay, and um, hold on, let me, where's my dryer? Thought I had my dryer out, guys, sorry. So what you can do now is you can dry it, okay? If you don't think you're going fast enough, it's okay, it's okay. Do not panic, and oops, sorry guys. Do not panic and um, just dry it and then you can continue to the other side okay so let's try this one and this is a heat gun um, I would prefer that you use a, um, a hair dryer okay And the reason I say that is because this dries it super fast and the hair dryer, while it's a little bit slower, it's drying it really well and it's drying it from the bottom up and not just the surface. So when you use the heat gun, that's what you're drying, just the surface, okay? All right, so let me put this aside and now we can continue on to this side. And so I'm just gonna turn it this way. So I'm just gonna let it fall. I'm not gonna push it down or anything. I'm just gonna let it fall, okay? And so now I'm gonna work on this side. And I just need to put a little bit more in there. It's drying out a little bit faster because it's less, um, I don't have very much left. I need to order me some green. All right, guys. Okay, here we go. And we're off. Again, we're just applying and then we're picking up. If you wanna apply, another tip, if you wanna apply a heavier amount of paste, you can do that as well, but and then you just go back and pick it up. When you apply a heavier amount of paste, you're allowing yourself more time. You're buying yourself more time because the paste is not going to dry as fast. Uh, just remember, you need to go back and pick it up. 
pick up your pace. What happens when you don't uh, pick up your pace is you'll notice that you have um, just bigger chunks uh, when you take off your transfer and you'll be able to notice them. Now if I take the picture of it and it's pretty far, you're not going to notice, but you'll know it's there. All right, just a little bit more to go. And then I'll go back and pick up my green paste. And a lot of people call this paint. This is not paint. This is paste, okay? So let's put this on here. And then the last thing that we're going to put on is the monogram, which is the letter C for my last name, Colombo. Okay, so let's start picking this up. All right, so let's put that down and let's go with the tan. The tan I'm gonna put right here on these circles. Okay. Don't be scared of it, guys. All right, we're done with it. So all I'm going to do now is lift it up. And just be careful guys don't let it, don't let it stick to itself if it does and you're not able to carefully take it apart immediately go and dunk it in some water okay so here we go so let me dry this side so I accidentally smudged there we go, right there. We're all good. So it got a little darker in here, guys, because <laughs> when I was connecting the uh, heat gun, I accidentally disconnected my lamp. Uh, so just bear with me. Now, this and pure gold on a gold um, round board that we have at Chaka Tour would look beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so that's good. So again, since my last name is Colombo, we're gonna be using the C. And I, I wanna do this in copper. So we'll see what it looks, we'll see what it looks like. If anything, I can just wipe it off with um, a baby wipe or, um, or, um, or another um, with a Clorox disinfectant wipe, since it's um, since it's on this. Um, goodness, I can't think on this canvas. <laughs> My God, I was like, spit it out, Christy. Hi, sis. How are you doing? All right. So again fuzzing do you notice how much I'm having to pull on this it's because it's really sticking to it so imagine if it was sticking like this on this surface or on wood I would definitely ruin my transfer and I can guarantee that I would ruin my wood of course the wood could be sanded down and no big deal but you know your transfer that's another thing so you gotta be very careful and you gotta make sure that you do fuzz, okay? So I'm gonna put my C right here. And I think I am going to do um, the copper. I think that'll really come out well because I also have silver, but I don't think I want to do silver. 
All right, let me just cover these up. Remember, if you leave them open, they will dry. Um, a good tip is if you're not gonna use it anymore for the day, for the night, whatever, just squirt some water and just put the lid on it. So next time you come back, um, it won't be as dry, okay? So there's another tip. And here's the copper. I'm not even sure if I've used this yet. Yep, I have, okay. All right, so let's get a squeegee and let's apply our copper. This is such a pretty color, guys. And it's shimmer. All right, this is such a pretty color. I wish you could see it and I wish I wouldn't have disconnected my light. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you wanna apply it and then you wanna go back and just pick it back up and put it right back into your jar. Guys, this paste goes a very long way. You don't wanna waste it, okay? Let's put that down. Let's pick up. Awesome. I think that looks really pretty, guys. All right, so let me just dry this. It's got a little shimmer to it, which I really, really love. Now you don't wanna to get too close to it with your heat gun if you're not using a hair dryer. You don't wanna to get too close to it with your heat gun because you actually can burn it, guys, okay? You'll start and you'll smell it. You'll smell the burn and you don't want that. All right, guys. So doesn't that look cute? Now, I have seen some people, some other uh, designers go in and uh, they take their paste, they take a little brush, a little paintbrush, and they go in and they highlight some of these areas a little bit darker. Um, a little bit darker green, maybe add a little bit of, uh, of the tan to, uh, to the uh, leaves here. You certainly can do all that and I'm sure it'll look beautiful. Um, I'm just not gonna do it, um, but I have done it before um, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the only reason I don't do it is because I think I waste a lot more uh, paste, but it certainly can be done and I've seen it and it looks super cute. All right, guys, that is it for tonight. If you have any questions, please put them below. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to do a live, um, but I I'm gonna wanna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be trying to incorporate um, paper. I have a lot of Cricut paper, and I've got some really cute designs, and I've got a lot of Mod Podge, and I just wanna use it. and. Um, I got inspired today by another designer who I was just kind of, you know, Googling something and I ran into it and I'm like, oh my God. So I just want to, I want to explore a little bit more and I hope that y'all will join me in that exploration. Alrighty guys, thank you so much. I will see you later. Bye.